I really miss Babel. Babel was a lot of fun. Babel was my first foray into social networking and then I progressed onto Twitter and then eventually Facebook. And although I, I use Facebook, but I'm not the biggest Facebook fan, but I was really interested to watch the social network. I'd heard a lot of great things about it. 7.7 out of 10 on IMDb across well over half a million reviews and ratings. A very well received film. Having watched it, I can say that I did genuinely enjoy this film. It's, it's in terms of accolades, it's ridiculous. It won three Oscars and an additional 169 awards with an additional 186 nominations. I don't think I've ever seen a film that's been that well received critically. Um, the Oscars for reference were Best Writing, Best Achievement in Editing and Best Achievement in Music Written for Motion Pictures. And this film, as I'm sure you can imagine, is about the birth of Facebook and what led to Facebook, what led to Mark Zuckerberg creating Facebook. He was a Harvard student at the time and some legal complications that arose in the early days when he is sued for well, theft of idea. And I never really would think about the origin of any social media site. It's just not something that would ever cross my mind. And would I have thought it made an interesting film? Well, before watching this, no. If you'd asked me long before this was created, I might not have said it sounded that interesting, but actually it's a lot, it's even better than it sounds. Plus I love legal drama, so that aspect of it kind of really hooked me in. It was released in 2010, directed of course by the fabulous David Fincher, written by Aaron Sorkin and Ben Mesrich, and starring Jesse Eisenberg as Mark Zuckerberg, that's uh, quite, quite a mouthful to say, uh, and Rini Mara, and uh, a you know, really great cast. You know, really brilliant film in terms of the casting and the acting, the on-screen chemistry is there. When scenes are tense, you can really feel the tension. And in terms of accuracy, I can't really vouch for it. As I said, I don't, never would have really thought about the history of Facebook or the background of Facebook other than, you know, because this film exists. So I don't know if it's 100% accurate or if they've taken any creative liberties. If you know any of that, please let me know. But the way the story is told is very engaging, it's very enjoyable, it's, um, it's quite a serious film but at the same time there are moments of light relief and, and joyous scenes of camaraderie and you know, seeing, also just seeing what Facebook was like even 11 years ago when this came out. I don't know how much of the kind of on-screen Facebook is the very original design I'm not 100% sure but certainly it's come a long way it's a really brilliant film I, I wouldn't say it deserves 100 and, what, 172 awards like to me it's not the creme de la creme but I did exceptionally enjoy it and I do think it's one of those films that you should probably see at some point it is moving it is emotional it's a really interesting look at society how society has developed and you know how technology causes problems for example like the, the legal case obviously it's not the first time there's been a, a copyright theft claim or anything but you know most people would think that they can just create a website and there would be no legal complications in terms of infringement of idea but it's, it's a pretty interesting angle and obviously Facebook's gone from strength to strength there are obviously a lot of people who no longer like Facebook and refuse to use it, and that is completely fine. As I said, I, I have an account, but I don't, you know, I log in, but I don't really post anything because I just don't want to share my entire life. People do overshare on Facebook. Absolutely people overshare on Facebook. Sometimes it's funny, and sometimes it's nice to smile at their embarrassment. Sometimes it's just a bit annoying. The film itself, not annoying, really good. You don't even need to be part of Facebook to watch this film. You don't need to have ever signed up to Facebook to enjoy this. I think you'll still enjoy the narrative that's being told to us, the performances, particularly by Jesse Eisenberg. It's quite a moving film. It's a two hours, not massively long. And one that I'm very happy to recommend. I personally did really enjoy it.